Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Pluto from Disney. Let's get started at the top of our page with the bridge of the nose. I'm going to start on the left side and just draw a curve going over towards the right. From the ends I just want to curve up and out. Now I'm just going to go in and layer the eyes in behind the nose bridge. So I'm going to start in the middle and draw a long oval going up to the top and then down on the left side. I'm just going to pull this down towards this little corner right there. I'll do the same thing on the right, starting in the middle. Now just at the bottom here, we're just going to draw on the pupil. So a little tiny oval starting at the top. Circle around towards the bottom and back up to the top. We're just going to fill that in black. And we'll do the same thing on the right side. Now just below the bridge of the nose, we're going to draw two curves, just for a little wrinkle. Starting on the left, just curve over. We'll draw a slightly longer one just below it. And then below this wrinkle, we're going to draw a nose. So it's a big oval, starting at the bottom here. Go around to the side. And back up towards the top. We're going to fill that in black. Now at the bottom of the nose, I just want to draw a short straight line coming down. From here, I just want to draw on the cheek on the left side. So we start by curving down and out. We're going to round this out and come up towards the eye. Now right up here, we're just going to pull it up slightly, curving up. And I just want to draw a little wrinkle here, so a little bracket curving across the end of the mouth. We're going to do the same thing on the right side. Starting from the bottom, curve down. I'm going to round this out and come up towards the eye. And at the top here, we're just going to pull it upwards. We're going to draw that little bracket along the top. Now I'm going to go in and draw that little wrinkle around the mouth. So from this bracket, we're going to step down, just curve around, and then up. Do the same thing on the right side. At the top of the eyes, I just want to draw a little brow line. So starting on the left side here, we're just going to draw a curve that goes up above the eye, and we'll pull it down. Do the same thing on the right. Now on the sides, we're going to draw on the side of the head. So from this point, I just want to step up slightly to create a little overlap and then curve it down towards this curve. Do the same thing on the right side. Now in between the brow, I just want to draw the top of the head. So the top of this curve, I'm going to go up and then pull it down on the right side. Let's go to the side of the head and draw on the ears. So we're going to start on the side on the left here. We're going to draw a curve that goes down and out. And we'll pull it straight down. From here, I'm just going to round out the ear and come up towards the top. So we're going to taper this line. Curve up. And then as we get to the top, we're just going to pull it straight in beside the head. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So lining up the top, we'll curve down, go out towards the right, and then pull it straight down. From here, I'm just going to round out the bottom of the ear, and go straight up. Now here, I just want to pull this in towards the side of the head. So we're tapering that line going in. We can go ahead and color all this in black. Now that we've got the top of the head, let's move down and draw on the lower part of the jaw. Now I'm going to have this tongue sticking out. So at the bottom on the left side, I'm going to curve down and then just pull that in slightly. I'm going to do a little overlap, so stepping straight up, curve down towards the tip of the tongue. Now I'm going to go up and pull this over towards the left side, about halfway down the center of the face. I'm going to go to the outside of the mouth here, curving up, and I'm just going to overlap that center line and pull that down. Let's go to the right side and draw on the outer part of this mouth. Starting up here, we're going to curve in behind the tongue. I'm going to go in and color all of this in black. Now let's go ahead and draw on the sides of the mouth. So from this curve, I just want to step out. Just follow that same curve in behind the tongue. And we'll do the same thing on the right side. Curving in behind the tongue on the right. 
Okay, now we got the head. Let's work our way down the body. Let's start with the little collar first. I want to draw on the top edge of the collar. So it's basically an oval tucked in behind the lower jaw. Starting on the side here, we're going to go out and then we'll pull that in behind the tongue, come out on the right side and then in behind the jaw. From the sides, I just want to draw two short lines coming downwards. Now I want to connect those two points with a curve. Now I'm going to have Pluto in a sitting position and I'm going to have the arms up in front. So we're going to start with the hands first. So the hands are coming forward like this. So let's start on the left side. We start with the back side of the palm. So right in line with this ear, I'm going to draw a little curve that goes out and back in. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So we're going to step up, starting at the very top, curving around. So two little brackets on either side. Let's go back to the left side and draw on the fingers. So I'm going to draw kind of like a circle that goes up. We're going to leave it open at the top. We're going to draw this three times. Stepping down, curve around, back up. Draw that one more time. So on the side of this finger, we'll curve around and then in. Now from this point, I want to curve the top of the hand in towards the elbow. So we're going to go up to the top of the hand. I want to make sure that I'm above that point. We're going to go around this little point here. Going around and then down. We draw a little wrinkle, so stepping up, we'll curve across like that. Now let's draw on the outside of the arm. So from the side of the palm here, I'm going to draw on the elbow, curving out towards an elbow. Now we're going to pull this around this little wrinkle here, coming up towards the lower jaw. And as I get to the top, I'm just going to straighten up. We're going to go straight up behind the collar. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So I'm going to start with a little finger at the bottom first, curving around like a little circle, pulling that up. Step down, draw another curve going up, and then finally the third finger going around. We're going to draw the top of the hand, going up towards the top. I want to go around that point here, towards the elbow, coming down. I'm going to step back and draw that little wrinkle line. Let's go back to the outside of the palm and draw in the elbow. So right here I'm going to curve, then go around that little wrinkle, pulling that in. Now I want to go up. I'm going to change directions and just pull this up behind the collar. Now in behind the hand, I just want to draw the profile of the chest. So below the collar, we step down, just draw a little curve. In behind the hands, we'll do that on both sides. Now we're going to move down and draw in the legs. So I'm going to start with the side of the body first. So directly in line with this, we're going to step down below the hand, and just curve around like this. On the right side, I'm going to curve in the same direction. So just below the hand here, curve across and then in. Let's go ahead and layer the left leg in here. So from this point, I'm going to step in and draw the top of the thigh. And go up, towards the elbow, towards the knee. Now this is going to curve around towards the ankle. And round out the knee, and we're just going to pull that in. On the right side, slightly different because then how the body sort of shifted over towards the right. So about halfway along this line, I want to draw the lower torso. Just curve around, and then in. And we're going to draw that same curve in behind the belly. So right here, we're going to curve up towards the knee. We're going to round it up and pull that back down. Let's go and work in the inside part of the leg now. So just in line with this point of the knee, we're going to step in and curve in towards the middle and towards the heel. Do the same thing on the right side. So right in line with the knee, we're going to step down. We're going to go in, just touching the belly in towards the middle. Now on the left side here, I'm going to curve and round out the bottom of the foot. So rounding this out, going up. We're going to layer in the toes, just like we did with the fingers. Do a little circle with an open end on the inside. So coming around, just leaving it open on this side. We'll layer another toe. So right down here, curve around and then up. Do one third one. We're gonna go around and then up. Now I want to draw on the top of the foot, but before I do that, I just want to draw a little wrinkle in the ankle. So up here, it's gonna curve down and in. And then from this point of the toe, it's gonna curve up and in behind that wrinkle. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So from the heel, it's going to round out the bottom of the foot, go up towards the toe. I'm going to take these toes and flip it over. So right here, we're just going to draw that circle, pull that in, step down, draw the second toe, draw the third toe. Now again, before I draw on the top of the foot, I want to draw on that little wrinkle. So up here, I'm just going to curve it down and in. And then from this point of the toe, we're going to curve up and in behind the ankle. 
in between the heels, I just want to close off the bottom of the body with a straight line. We'll finish this off with the tail, so I'm going to have a little tail whipping out towards the left. So on the side of the leg here, curving out around the knee, in, and we'll just flick this outwards. I just want to make it a little bit thicker as we come towards the body. So right about here, I'm just going to taper it, thicken it up as I get behind the knee. We're going to color all this in black. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Pluto from Disney. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.